Hey guys, this is your psychologist signing in. We're about to go to SneakerCon 2019. Let's kick some. As feedback already for the first um, sneaker con here, the lineup is pretty boring. There's no like, there's no music, so like everyone's just kind of like, yeah, like they should. That's right. That, that's. Yeah, because usually, no, what happens is usually there's people at the front. Mm. Because the killers are reflective. That's right. It should be like a couple of DJs or something, and like I'm, I'm telling you, like the energy. I hope just incre uh, increases inside because I'm telling you right now, look, everyone's super, super, like, awkwardly quiet. Yeah, so, <laughs> some people at least kind of smiling. I think because the doors are finally open, right? So it's past 12, people are starting to go in. There's a couple people talking now. The line, we've progressed massively in line now. <laughs> there they all are, there he is. <laughs> Alright, let's see, we're moving slowly. That line is still going crazy long. Alright, now we are close to that door. Let's see if they start playing some music soon. They're just Get a, get a background on these shoes, what are we talking about? Uh, what are Jordan, they? Jordan 11 Low, infrared. Um, released God knows how long. Yeah. 2000, 2014. They look like they're new. It's been tried on, but it should have been fluffed. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, see what happens. Size 30, you can almost... What are we ex what are we expecting at the trading pit, but uh, I don't know. A lot of trades. A lot of trades. A lot right. of uh, crazy. A lot of crazy, crazy stuff going on. I reckon. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. The good thing about this is, right? Have a look at the diversification of the crowds. Like you've got. <laughs> I'm talking about even age group, right? You've got young ones here. You've got everyone in between. You know, different nationalities and all that, and they're all here for the one thing, right? Sneakers. You got another? Yep. One. It's not brand in, brother. Thank you very much. Thanks, seven, bro. Thanks, brother. Yeah, boy. 
Okay, so this is your first look inside a sneaker con 2019 here in Sydney. So finally got some music playing. And there is that crazy, crazy trading pit. Everyone's talking about, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna have a look, let's see what people are actually doing there at the trading pit. Let's check it out, guys. So if you guys didn't know about that CREP project, uh, CREP Protect actually, so Foot Locker is actually doing a lot of it here, so pretty much everything to do with cleaning, keeping your sneakers looking crispy, as always. Sprays, wipes, cures, peels, ultimate pack, erases, shoot trees, mark on minor laces, gold tip laces. Can't go wrong, what a setup there. Look at that, sex. Shout out to Prep Protect, handing out the wipes here over at SneakerCon 2019, good old Sydney. Let's have a quick sneaky peek into the trading pit. As you can see here, we are, wow. And you know what's weird is everyone just keeps looking down. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go find the crew, huh? Let's go find the crew. just caught my eye. I mean, they're doing jerseys now, shirts. Obviously, Jordans, you got that one there. Have a look at these. All right, so, the ones that caught my eye, right there, you see the price tag, $500. Yeezy boots. Why? These ones are in the Air Jordan 4 Retro Boxes, $400 right there. Gotta love these price tags. Let's check this one out. These ones are at two. Which ones? Tell me about this shoe. These ones here, 550 What's what's uh what's significant about these ones here? Retro four. The retro? So thirty years old. How old? Uh, she came out. And, uh, she came out thirty years ago. Thirty. Thirty years. Oh my goodness. All right. So in case people didn't know, so I'm not that massive into sneakers, but what does get me is prices, right? So I'm looking at these shoes right there. So for whatever reason, US eight and a half, US nines, twenty one hundred, right there. These ones here, a thousand bucks. There is that much money standing in front of me right now. It's not funny. It's crazy. See something like this, right? Any other person would go, oh, it's a, it's a pair of Vans. My goodness. Now they're at 250. That's crazy. It's on Wednesday. It's crazy. I would not think that they were that expensive. Under retail. Under retail as well. Under retail. Retail is 250 and now we're selling for 230. Wow. Brand new. Brand new as well. Too easy. Look at that. All right, so there seems to be, uh, there's a bit of a commotion here. Baby Brothers just stopped got excited i think it's cling wrapped so so far i've learned about this legit thing that you need to find <laughs> but you got your wow there they are so that's why it was probably eyeing out something at 1400 <laughs> so i said <laughs> oh, shit. so now we are looking at 50 dollar bandits Actually, can you tell me a little something about $50 Band-Aids from Supreme? What are we talking about here? Are they like super, super cool? Oh, wild cherry throat pops. I love it. Toothbrushes. That is super cool. 
You got your Ranger cars here. Have to go over there. Yeah, so I'm assuming it's all in the branding, right? I mean, Supreme, I know Supreme is super expensive, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm just thinking about $25 band-aids. Like my little girls love band-aids, right? They just like, oh, if they got a little scratch, I put a band-aid on. But what do you get? I wouldn't know. Yeah, easy. Ah, okay. So the trading pit. Oh, you still have everything so intimidating. Okay. <laughs> We, we can't we can't be intimidated. I, I say what we do. All right. So what we're, we're going to pull out these no, cases. No, so everyone's, everyone's just so clean and nice. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> it's so but as you can see, people are actually uh, they're they're in the trading pit at the moment. So so far, what I think they're doing is they're going to be like pulling out the shoes. They're going to be laying them on the floor. Um, I, I think the the deal is you kind of just walk around and you look down all the time. Uh, and if there's a pair of shoes that you like, you know, that's it. That's uh, you have a then then you can bargain and and uh, if see if you can pick them up for a good price. But yeah, I just want to see what else you can actually get around here because it is crazy. I'll show you this one right now. So this thing is caught my eye. So that's uh, I dare say it is. I don't know, fake, real, whatever. But Louis Vuitton. Put some beautiful shoes in there. Yeah, so apart, so apart from shoes, obviously you got a lot of clothing as well. I mean, look, the sneaker, the sneaker community is really based around basketball, I would dare say. Um, but look, you've got, I mean, you've got things still in cling wrap, you know. Um, and here's here's something for all my cryptocurrency people. So we've got people now accepting WeChat which is really cool. So I believe they use uh, crypto through their mobile phone apps, which is sweet. An array of shots, here we go. So we've got a huge, huge crowd here. Let's see if we can get a sneak peek about what they're, what they're actually checking out. One thing that I, I've not seen here yet, right? Because these are sick. So we've got like literally crystal, crystal boxes, right? I haven't seen anyone else selling these ones here, and they look stunning. Now, obviously, the shoes inside, I mean, you can tell, completely custom. They've all been customized, which is good. Let's just have a look at them there. Here's these are, I think, inspired by a jet fighter. Sick ad, man. Sick. So, guys, just so you know, that was the Grail Crew um, stop. I'd, I'd say their their desk trading thing here. So, make sure you follow them here. Grail Crew Customs. Grail Crew Customs. So they're all there. So I've got, that's it, so now I've got Kev. <laughs> Alright, because we need to get to this trading pit sometime soon. I'm not putting it down to embarrassing. They need to be embarrassed, man. Like you said, you know, we're not asking for a thousand bucks. That's it. <laughs> Let's check out this one over here. So, here we go. It looks like there's, there's like heaps and heaps of customized stuff. Um, so, one of these kind of caught my eye here. Especially this one, I'm assuming that's probably Scorpion, Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Chase, what? With eyes. 
There's a lot of work, a lot of effort that's actually come into these, so you really can't go. You have to appreciate how nice they are. Even these ones here, you can tell they've left the, the tape on on the bottom. They probably haven't removed it yet. But these ones are sweet as. Right, so that was a chameleon kicks booth. Uh, so just like the other guys, man, seriously, custom sneakers, footwear, apparel, art, stencils, accessories. Make sure you give them a follow. There's their Insta page. You can tell customized sneakers are going to be in. Alright guys, so we're here. I'm not sure how it's supposed to be done, but I'm assuming it's a default. Premium destinations for limited and exclusive goods. Selling these actual boxes. TMs down there, the Supremes, Air Maxes, Good CN. So I'm starting to see a lot of these legit tags everywhere. That's something that I've learned today. Look at him. Now that one, that one's a little obnoxious, right? But check it out. I don't know what that's supposed to be. All right, so I've just been told if I want to record anything, this is where I need to be recording because these are the expensive stuff. And you can tell they're expensive because they don't have prices on them. You probably have to go, hey, probably have to barter with these guys. But super, I would dare say super, super exclusive. But just have a look, follow the incident. The parks. Alright, so I've come across this gentleman here. His name is Jared. He does have an Instagram page, he's gonna let us know, but he's here to sell some something. So tell me a little bit about these shoes, man. Um, well, these just dropped today. They just um, dropped today? Yeah. So I copped them and. So I'm just trying to resell them, I guess. Just trying to resell them. Uh, can I ask for uh, a value that you're actually looking for? So the retail price was about 270 270 So uh, I might up it like about 500 I don't know how much the, mar uh, the market price is going right now. But yeah. So someone's going to come in and say, Jared, 450 bucks, mate. Let's do it. Yay, yeah, nay. 450 bucks and a kiss from a blonde wearing a really tight top. Is that a yay or nay? I don't know, man. I don't know. Not so sure yet? Well, uh, let's just have a look at that box. So you've got your Nikes, Nikes, 13. But they are gorgeous. Yeah. All right. with these like sneaker enthusiasts man like this is a this is what happens in the trading pit you come down you lay your stock you start talking to these customers the pair of shoes that he's holding is after 350 bucks potential buyers everywhere man you see them here now the guy just said 1800 yeah so eighteen hundred dollars so if you can actually ask for eighteen hundred dollars for a set of these. Size thirteen, seven hundred forty. Seven hundred thirty, size thirteen, man. There it is. These ones 
called Maya, right? Like I'm gonna talk about a Technicolor work. <laughs> I don't know if I'm assuming this is what the whole legit thing is because like I said I didn't know I thought you actually get from factory so it looks like what they do is they've got a this is your it's almost like an inspection line yeah so you line up you get your sneakers inspected and if they're legit you get the legit kind of badge on that's uh, I'm assuming that's what it is So obviously, me being super, super new, I had to ask the brothers the significance of this gentleman here. So this guy is a massive YouTuber. Um, two verse kicks. Oh, look. All right, hold on. All right, so what we're gonna, what we're gonna actually try is. We're gonna try to see what people actually think a pair of sneakers are worth, right? So I've got with me a pair of unworn K Swiss shoes. Unworn, okay, they're brand new, they look they're delicious, right? It's probably around nine years old, right? I keep getting a lot of flack from my, from my brothers about that it's probably not worth anything. And yeah, they're probably right, they know what it's all about, but. I can't see anyone here selling K Swiss, and there's probably a reason for it. And I'm, I am looking around. No one's wearing K Swisses. So we're gonna go to a retailer. We're gonna ask, hey, in your honest opinion, what do you reckon these are worth? And we'll actually see because they kept telling me if I can get 15, 20 bucks for them, I'm winning. Ooh, let's find out. I heard 600. 600 dollars. Does that have the legit thing on it? Not yet. What are they retailing at these ones at? That's yours. Yeah. You got it as a gift. Hey, let me ask you something. What do you reckon these are worth? Just open them up. Check them out. I haven't seen anyone with them. You can. You can lift them up. Now they are brand new, unworn, but I want a professional opinion because you guys here are at the trading pit. All right, what do you reckon? What do you reckon they're worth? Give me a dollar value. What was that? Around six hundred bucks. Okay, what do you reckon? What's your thought? Eight hundred dollars. You think they're worth eight hundred bucks? This is just as a, an opinion piece. Because we're asking people how much... We're, yeah, we're asking people how much these are worth. Is this your mate here? Oh yeah, no, I was going to say, hey, I met this guy at the front. Have a look at this shoe for me, man. Alright, just have a quick look. We just want to, we want to get people's opinion. You know, how people actually check it out. They just have a look. These shoes are around 9, nine to 10 years old. That's what I mean. I just want to find out what people are... Untouched, unworn. The thing is, we don't know. Which is why we're asking people how much are actually worth. I don't know. We have to go to the trading people and check it out, but we want to get people's opinions. Guys, don't move. We need you. 
I need you to pick up these these shoes for me. You pick them up, do an inspection. We don't know what they're worth, but we're trying to figure out from the people what they think they're worth. Because I don't see anyone here wearing K-Swisses. Everyone's doing Supreme, everyone's doing Nike. Pick them up. I don't know. We're trying to figure it out. We've got a lot of hot people that are looking at them. They don't know what they're worth. They look like, say that again. Good quality. Good quality, yep. We're at 500 bucks. You reckon a grand? A thousand bucks. Anything, what, what, what do you reckon is making it so significant, bud? 1.25 grand. That's crazy, guys. Thanks for your opinion, bud. Thanks. That's awesome. You got a YouTube channel? I do. All right, so I've been told that the way you got to do is you got to pull out the shoe, put it on top of the shoe box, right? Obviously, you let them know it's a size. Well, you, you walk around, you go. Oh, you walk? <laughs> but, okay, so we're, we're going gonna, we're gonna to try to do an opinion poll. That, that's pretty much what we want to do because we want to see what people think that these are worth, all right? So let's go around. Let's find another person. Hold up. So I bumped into this guy named Liam. Now, the reason why I stopped him it's because he looked at the shoe. So we're just going to keep doing this opinion poll there. Liam, what's your Instagram page, brother? My Instagram is uh, Liam Morto, so L-I-A-M-M-A-U-T-O-N-E. Perfect. All right. So Liam, what we're doing is we're just doing an opinion poll. Yeah, we right. don't know what these shoes are worth. Yeah. We don't see many people walking around with K-Swissers. So I don't know you, man. Yeah. Tell me what you reckon. Just first impression. Yeah, this is not bad, eh? I love the wood grain, the wood grain trim. That is pretty cool, man. It's sort of like a plastic touch. It's sort of bottom silhouette. Uh, yeah, man. They look pretty cool. They look pretty sweet. Now, look, these are brand new, unworn, paper shit still inside. You have to give it a value right now, all right? Just off the top of your head, not knowing anything about it, because not many people know about this one. Yep. What do you reckon? I'd probably price it. Somewhere around like 150, 180. 150 like to 180. Alright. I reckon 120 dollars. 120, so one 150 around we've got 120. 200. 200 bucks, you wanna have a look at it? Alright guys, so I found this guy, his name's Xavier, alright. Now come across his his little his stand and I, I'm telling you. Uh, I'm seeing prices that I can't even like fathom at the moment because I obviously don't get how sneaker prices work. But he's gonna go on the opinion poll now, Xavier. Before we go, yep. you've got an Instagram account. Yeah. Hook me up, man. Uh, my name is Xavier. Uh, my Instagram is at Xavier. X A V I Y E R R. Beautiful. Yeah. Perfect. All right. They should be really much a big brand. Yep. And, um, I'm not gonna lie, they look pretty ugly. It's all good. Uh, 14 years old. It's an opinion poll. Go on. Dead stock, but I. Best price probably be. 30. 30 bucks? 30 bucks. That's all right. That is our lowest, lowest price so far that we've got. Let, let's pass it on to your to your mate here. All right. Now this guy's wearing. Uh, I, I dare say, how how much are these shoes worth? Or these things? Three, so so these ones here. These are three hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah. Yeah. That, is that retail price? Or is that a resale price? Uh, resale, resale for me. Resale, okay. So, your opinion, talk to me. What do you reckon? I actually do like the shoe. I he like, he like, hold on, hold on. I he likes the shoe, yeah. I do like it. And for 14 years old, it's pretty. I'd say. They're locked away. 250. 250. Now, there's a Filipino here. The Filipinos are. Because I'm Filipino, so I'm a bit biased. All right, we 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 do, we're good at two things: boxing and karaoke. Yep. All right, that's, that's our specialty. That's our specialty, yeah. and we're nurses, right? What's his What's his thought? Have Have a look at him. Do a proper look, untouched. Oh well, that they are touched, but unworn. Because we've got yeah yeah. Our price ranges: we went from thirty, two fifty. Law of averages. It's It's all about law of averages. I don't know. Maybe. 1500 1500 I think he's just playing with me now 120 Maybe like 150 What was the price? 200 
170 guys our prices are going crazy up and down all right so I've come across this gentleman here. he is standing out like a sore thumb wearing Superman the best superhero in the world his name is Alex I've been told Alex that these sneakers are around sixteen hundred dollars and you're walking around in sixteen hundred dollar sneakers yeah yeah I felt like it was today's the day to put them on, I guess. Today's the day? Yeah, so I, don't know, I wear them all the time to work. JD Sports, so. You wear, yeah, you wear $1,600 sneakers to work at JD? Yeah, 100%. Far out. Well, mate, I'll tell you what. I cut it. Look, the reason why I stopped you, obviously, because everyone's been telling me to talk to you. I want to get your opinion. Paul, you obviously have a lot of money. <laughs> everyone's... You're, you're probably going to be the 20th person to have a look at these shoes, all right? We don't know what they're worth. Okay, not many people have heard of K-Swiss or if they do, they're like really, really old like me. But, oh, yeah. yeah, but we just kind of want to get, you know, with someone who wears $1,600 pair of sneakers, what do you reckon these are worth? Because these are brand new, haven't been worn, I've been told that it's dead stock, whatever it is. Someone with money and taste, what do you reckon? Money and taste, look, honestly, the shoes shouldn't be even worth 600 bucks, but... Um, see, I like that. Um, yeah, it's like uh, everyone's kind of complimenting about this wood grain stuff. Yeah, because you don't see many wood grain stuff anymore. No, that's right. So I think they're worth four to five hundred. Now, Crystal was telling me about some pants that are a ridiculous price. How much are these pants going for? So these are the ones that are seven hundred dollars. What makes them worth 700 bucks? Because Adidas collaborated with a bathing ape. There's that word again, collab. So there's that, there's that thing. Far out. Alright, so I'm getting a bit of a lesson here, right? So apparently the reason why a lot of these sneakers are actually are expensive. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Is because of they've got they've got actual collabs, yeah. So baby brothers, just, just give me a, give me a bit of a lesson. What makes it? What increases the value of a sneaker? Uh, if it's a celebrity or a company that collabs with a shoe, yeah, that increases the value. So you got you got a resale for any Jordan retro, but then you have ones for collabs. So anything to do with like Travis Scott, anything to do with Supreme anything to do with undefeated it's just all about taking a shoe and then adding someone to it that is what is kind of hot and what's hyped at the moment Seems to be uh, it's dirty. <laughs> that seems to be my time at SneakerCon. Uh, we've got the crowd, got the crowd here. We've had a blast. <laughs> we've had a blast. Are we coming back next year? 
Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it actually gets better with each and every year. But knowing that people, people's opinions are going up and down about it. Now, when I took this to the authenticator guy, he said that they, they don't do K-Swiss. So I couldn't get my legit badge on it, um, which is kind of sad, but you know, um, it kind of makes me want it even more. Uh, but yeah, now look, I've had a blast. Thanks, brother, have you had a blast as well? I blasted. You blasted? You always make educated guesses.